All right, once again, I want to take the opportunity to thank one of our great sponsors, Ken Bromley, and the Citizen Athlete Project. Once again, a personal performance program that connects regular citizens to high-caliber athletes. Check them out online, citizenathleteproject.com. Once again, it is online initiative, real-life activated, citizenathleteproject.com. All right, our next bout is between two fighters who are undefeated. So as they say, somebody's O must go. This is three rounds in the 143-pound weight division. Introducing first, fight in the red corner, representing KDMMA, Jose Tron. Hamza Trod, trained by his father Jamal Trod, comes in with a record of three wins against no defeats. Also in mixed martial arts, three wins and no defeat. Standing 5'10, 21 years old from Glendale, California. Of Edgar Zaragoza coming up to the blue corner representing Brunei Martial Arts. He's out of Lomita, California. He's got Anthony Eisenhower in his corner. He is 3 and 0, oh, chasing the UFC dream, is what he is doing. Here to perform in a kickboxing match now, Fighters Rep 14. Again, this bout is contested at 142 pounds. This matchup at 142 pounds. Their record identical, 3 and 0. Their age identical, 21 years old. Only 2 inches separate them in height. That 2 inch advantage going to Hamzad Trod. And yes, somebody O is going to go tonight. Here we go for round number 1. Lightning fast. Fighter's going in right away. Try not to waste any times. Strong kick by Trod. Zara goes to throwing those hands. Oh, a strong knee. And a grazing kick by Trod. Zaragoza pinning Trot in the corner. Try with a strong cross. The high kick comes up a little bit too high. Zaragoza eats a three-piece, eats another three-piece, catches a head kick, 
And now over cross by Trod. Trod finding his mark and his range. A walk knee, beautifully done by Trod. Our referee asked not to hold for that knee. Trot using that range very effectively. But Zara goes and tries to go inside, eats several hooks. Swings and miss. And that heat by Trod between both fighters actually. Very evenly matched. I like Trot, I like the way he's using his range, using it very effectively, catching those punches at the long end. Zaragoza is effective when he gets inside, but he uses a little skip step to either try to do a flying knee or, or, or a skip kick. I'm not really sure, but to get inside, I think he can get inside a little bit tighter without that movement. But this bout very, very well matched, very even. As we enter round number two, Hamza Trod wearing the red gloves, Ega Zaragoza wearing the black gloves. Zaragoza catches a push kick, throws a hand combination. Trod firing that right cross right down the pipe. A nice spin by Trod following up with that kick. Trod using those hooks and punches, long end of his gloves effectively. Spin hook kick to the body, jump knee. Trod measuring with that jab, firing with that right hook. Zaragoza. Gets stopped with the jab. Zaragoza eats another hook. But the tenacity of Zaragoza stands right in front of you. Trod going upstairs, downstairs. And another three-piece combination by Trod. And round number two comes to a close. John, how do you see this fight so far? Boy, it's hard to judge. Both fighters are very competent, like you said. Trod has the reach advantage. He's definitely taking advantage of that and lighting up his opponent. Uh, Zaragoza's doing everything he can to get on the inside, but that hop is a little funny. It does cause hesitation, but doesn't necessarily get him where he needs to go. At this time, it's in the hands of the judges. We need to see something decisive. Well, I see Trot coming out dominant on the first two rounds. Zaragoza, I like to see him, instead of skipping in, I like to see him faint. Draw something from Trot before he gets inside. Let Trot close that distance for him. But Trot, using those long punches, it's finding its mark and finding it very effective. Here we go for the third and final round. Hamza Trod, Eger, Zaragoza. <laughs> A 
and the speed of a trot, speed, especially when he uses that knee in conjunction with his hand combination. And just the tenacity of Trot. Trot throwing those punches is rocking the head of Zaragoza. And Zaragoza is like the Terminator. He just keeps marching forward. A stiff jab by Trod. Another over jab by Trod. Spin back fist, hits on the wrist from Trod. And Zaragoza now measuring in. That knee again comes up very effective for Trod. Another knee by Trod. And that closes this bout. Hard hitting, high impact, kickboxing action here on Fighters Rep number 14. Hamzat Trod out of the red corner versus Egger. Zaragoza, this bout comes to a close. It is in the judges' hands, but I see it all Hamza Trod. And five fans still to come. After this bout, Five rounds of Fighters Rep Super Middleweight Action. A championship bout between Christian Zoller and Joshua Caldwell. And there we see his father, Jamal Trod, trainer of Hanzed, and also Jose Ortega. As they stand happily for their fighter, taking on this three round unanimous decision, winning all three rounds on the judges scorecard. Congratulations, Mr. Trod.
Now you are undefeated here in Fighters Rep, so what does the future hold for Hunting and Prince Rod here in Fighters Rep?